Hello everyone. We will continue that topic. How to call a SAP script from that driver program. And based upon that, we understood that we need to go for three function modules. We called the open underscore form function module, which is used to open the script. We called close underscore form function module, which is used to close the script. Now, in between this open form and close form, we will use write underscore form. And what is the purpose of write underscore form? The purpose of write underscore form is to write the data into the various windows of the script. Now, if I will go to the script layout, whatever the script we design, this is the script we design. If I will go for the data, where, where we want to print the data. If you see first window, there is no need for that data because in first window, we only took the label order details. Second window, yes, we want to print the value of order number. It means in this window, we will print that data. Now, header details, there is no need to print that data. Data means I am talking about values because this is only only the label. Now we will print that data into this particular window because we are printing the values order date, payment mode, total cost and currency. Then we have item details, nothing. It is a label. Then order item number and item cost, nothing because they are labels. Then in this window, main window, where we are displaying item number and item cost, yes, we want to print the data. So we want to print the data into how many windows? This window, where we are printing the value of order number. This window, where we are printing the values of header details. This window, where we are printing the values of item details. It means we will call the function module write underscore form. How many times? Three times we will call. First time we will pass that data to this particular window. Second time we will pass that data to this particular window. Third time we will pass that data to this particular window because in case of write underscore form at a time you can pass only one window one window most most important part it is very easy to call open form it is very easy to call close form but yes write underscore form is very important because we need to write that data to the various windows of the SAP script. Now what I will do, I will go to the program. Parallelly, I will open the script also because now we need to cross check with script. So firstly, I will call, I will go to pattern button and I will call the function module write underscore form. I will go for enter. Now, we will simply, simply uncomment exporting. Now, now if you see, we have a option here to pass the window. Uncomment this parameter window. Now in front of this, you need to pass the window name 
in which window we want to display the values. We want to display the values. If I will go to SAP script, I will go to display of the script. Now you can see, we want to go for firstly, which window? In this window, we want to display the value of order number, order number. So just see in which window you have the order number input. This is the window name, window name. It is extremely important because many times people will write the correct logic, but because of the mistake in the name of the windows, their output is not coming. So I will simply, simply call this pass this particular window in write underscore form function module. So I will go to the write underscore form function module and I will pass. Now, best practices, never, never forget to uncomment the exceptions. Now, we will call write underscore form second time. Do not call this write underscore form after close underscore form because once the script is closed, you will not be able to write. So in between open and close, use write underscore form. Now, again, I will call write underscore form. Because at a time, we can pass only one window. Now, I will again call write underscore form. I will uncomment exporting. I will uncomment window. Now, we want to write that data into which window now? Just see. Now, we want to write that data in this window. Now just see in your script, what is the name of this window? The name of this window is header val, hdr val. Now I will call this hdr val. Now I will uncomment these exceptions. Never forget to uncomment the exception. That is best part. Now we will go for write underscore form third time. I will go to pattern button. I will go for write underscore form. Now we want to write that data into which particular window. Firstly, I will uncomment exporting. I will uncomment window. Now our item data, you all know our item data is in which window? Main window, main window. So I will pass the main window. It is by default main is coming. I will uncomment the exceptions. Now again, two to three most, most important points. We are writing that data into the main window, main window. Yes, item data is not fixed. We have so many rows. We have so many rows. So we need to call this. We need to this particular part. We need to call inside the loop, inside the loop. And you can understand from here also. This is your main window, main window. If I will go to text elements, what we have written in the main window. If I will explain, this is important point. We have written here, work area hyphen order item number, work area hyphen item cost. Just see your program. In your program, your data is in the internal table. Have you moved it to work area? You have not moved it to work area. And in the script, you are writing work area. So how, how it will display? These are the common mistakes, especially from the freshers. 
So this particular item data, this particular item data, we need to call inside the loop, inside the loop. So I will write loop at internal table into work area. Now for every loop, there is a end loop. One by one, it will write that data because item data is multiple. It is not fixed. And this. And loop, sorry. I will go for pretty printer. I'll check the syntax. Now, what or how it will work? Anyways, we will learn in that debugging mode. Your header data, your header data is in which work area? LWA data. From the internal table, you move that data to the work area. Now, firstly, we opened the script. So this particular script will open whatever the script we decide. Then it will write that data into the various windows. So firstly, it will go to which window? O-R-D-I-N. It will go to window O-R-D-I-N. It will go to the text element. Now it will see what we did in this particular window. We have written, if I will go to this, I, okay, I will go to, I will double click. So I forgot to double click. It should be in blue color. What we have written into this particular window. We have written, LWA data O and O. So it will simply print what is in this work area order number. So it will simply simply display into this particular window. Now again, write underscore form. It will go to which window? HDR well. It will go to HDR well. It will go to this window. Go at it text elements. Here also, we are referring first work area, LWA data. And your data from the internal table, you pass to what? LWA data. So it will simply, simply write LWA data, order date, payment mode, total amount, currency, into which particular window HDR well. Now, in this internal table, whatever is there, we are passing that data to work area one by one. So this particular function module will call multiple times. One by one, it will write that data. So in this main window, which work area we are referring? We are referring LWA data one. If I will go to text elements and it will print. I just show you previously also. Here we are referring LWA data one. So it will print order item number also, item cost also. Now the two important mistakes, especially from the beginners, they pass the different window and different window name in the program. That's why output is not coming. Second most important thing, in the coding in the program, they will take different name of the work areas and in the script, they will take different name of the work areas. Have you seen? In the program, I took LWA underscore data and LWA data one. And in the script, I used same to same thing. These are the only two reasons by which many people will not get the output. So please take care for all these points. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, 
we called the function module write underscore form. How you will decide how many times you want to call write underscore form check in how many windows you want to write that data. We want to write that data into three windows, order input window, header values window, item details window. So we called write underscore form three times. And because at a time it will pass or it will accept only one window. And for the item data, we called write underscore form inside the loop because item data is not fixed in nature. In the next video, I will show you the full flow in the debugging mode. And we will understand, yes, how, how the data is going to the script and how it is displayed. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.